Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna random here. We're gonna random Isaac. Now this might be a bad sign. The reason I say that it might be a bad sign, that might seem a little bit crazy because Isaac is, you know, bar none my favorite character. However, um, we've been having like an unprecedented string of good luck. Seriously, like the last five or six runs have all been, at least from my perspective, uh, you know, entertaining, interesting item combinations, and also, like, at least had cracks at victory. And we've succeeded in a lot of them as well. I'm gonna leave that spirit heart for when we leave this floor. Um, and you, remarkably, most of them have come as bad characters. Like, in particular, if you have not seen the last run where I played as Blue Baby, I would definitely recommend you do so. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I'm gonna have to, because, you know, three, two, one. I beat, like, Utero, Chest, and the Cathedral, or, sorry, Utero, Cathedral, and Chest in that order. Uh, in like four minutes total, which is definitely unprecedented for me. Like the whole run, front to back, was only 29 minutes, and I made it all the way to the chest and actually succeeded, which is kind of unprecedented. So I was, uh, you know, pretty impressed to see that happen with Blue Baby, nonetheless. Now, at what is this? This is a spacebar item or five extra bombs? Since it's five extra bombs. I'll just take it. I'll take it. Five extra bombs with increased blast damage. Okay, it's been a while. Forgive me on that one. Um, but yeah, doing all those as like bad characters. Makes me think that when we have a good character here as Isaac, or a character I consider to be good anyway, things might be a little bit scarier. So, we picked up seven cents, we found the secret room very easily. We're gonna fight our boss, use our d6 if necessary, go back, pick up the spirit heart. I'm anticipating that this is going to be a pretty good floor. Now, I could use one bomb against Duke of Flies, but I think I'm at the point in my Isaac career that is not necessarily, uh, you know, of the utmost importance. Not the best use of company resources, as I might say. Uh, instead... We will just focus on taking him out. We're not doing as much damage as I would like just yet, but hey, it's only the first floor. So I'm not going to bitch about having Duke of Flies. Oftentimes, you know, if we play our cards right or we get the, the kind of upgrades that I want to get, this first boss that we fight is going to be one of the hardest bosses that we fight because we have no damage. Now, we'll just hope for, you know, first floor. Generally, I say this every single time, but hope for an HP upgrade maybe so I can leverage that into a deal with the devil on the next floor while still having a decent amount of health to, you know, do what I do. And, you know, I wouldn't sweat a damage upgrade either. We're not going to have any chance for a deal with the devil on this floor, obviously, because it's floor one. But, Duke of Flies finally falls into my trap. Should be easy to hit here. If I get just one more, there we go. Alright, so now we just have to take out these flies, which should die in one hit each. Two hits for the angry ones, I guess, and more than that for the larger ones. But anyway, that took a long time. We are going to just roll with our standard HP upgrade here. That is pretty much exactly what I wanted. We'll pick up our Spirit Heart and head down to the next floor. My thinking, obviously, in case you're new to the Binding of Isaac, is uh, I'll pick up the Spirit Hearts when we leave rather than right off the start because then that means, you know, if I lose Red Hearts by not picking up the Spirit Heart, that's okay because those are more easily replenished. Um, whereas Spirit Hearts, generally speaking, are more rare and thus can be more valuable. Or at least... Oh, that's not good. And there we go. I'll just lose it right away anyway. <laughs> Well, we still have half of one left, but still. You get the point. In theory, that's how it's supposed to work. So we have Mini Mush, which is speed plus range. We'll reroll that to Homing Bombs. I'm going to take it, uh, not because Homing Bombs are all that important, but because we already have the extra Blast Damage. So Blast Damage plus Homing Bombs could be useful, especially if we pick up like a, a Fetus in a Jar or something like that. And on top of that, uh, five extra Bombs means we're probably not going to... Oh, come on. We're probably not going to have Bomb Trouble for... Uh, possibly the entire game until we get to the mom's heart boss fight. Oh, I can't get out of there fast enough. And I'm probably not earning a deal with the devil here because I've taken too much damage, especially now. However, um, we're still doing okay. Can't complain. I'll shoot all this poop that we've got down here. Could potentially find some red hearts in there. If not, money, which I could use to go to the shop because I have one key, but I've already gone to the item room on this floor, so I can use that, you know, for whatever I see fit. A golden chest or a, uh, uh, a shop, should we come across one. But I don't really want to invest in this key and go into the shop if it's not going to, you know, pay off for me. Unless I come across like a half price compass or something like that, which is something that's happened pretty frequently recently. So now I'll fight the boss right away while we're here. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Pony, that's actually pretty bad. Uh, on the bright side, this does give us the opportunity, potentially, to use some of our, you know, homing extra blast damage bombs. Which apparently are not actually going to home at all. Which is awesome. Well, that actually went okay. And you know what? We'll re-roll the pony. I could take it for the flying items, but I'm just gonna re-roll it instead. And it's the pony! So you know what? You know, fuck the d6. Let's just roll with the pony. Pony's actually an okay item. Uh, I was skeptical about getting rid of it. 
because I like it. And I'm skeptical about getting rid of the D6. Or I'm skeptical, I should say I was skeptical about taking it, but uh, I don't know. I like the pony. I know a lot of people don't. I'm probably going to catch some flack because a lot of people seem to consider that the uh, D6 is way better than the pony. The only reason I'll feel that this is a terrible decision is if we get a flying item that's passive or better uh, shortly, like within the next floor or two. But that's not necessarily 100% likely, so it's all good. And if nothing else, it adds a little bit more variety, you know? So we'll pick up another key here. Hopefully, uh, we should look for a secret room while we have nine bombs. Hopefully, I won't end up wasting too many of those, or I might end up eating those my words about, uh, you know, being okay for bombs for probably the rest of the game. Well, red chest usually contains assholes. Well, actually, Guppy's tail. That could be useful, it could be terrible, but, uh, well, actually, it could not be terrible. Worst... That was terrible, though. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'm not going to find it that useful, because you need a lot of keys to make Guppy's tail useful, because it turns all regular chests into golden chests. I guess that could make it terrible, because I'll miss out on some regular chests. But if we end up getting a skeleton key or something, then Guppy's tail could prove to be a huge boon, and could actually end up giving us, uh, you know, that passive flying item that would make me regret taking the pony. So far, though, we haven't had the same kind of luck that we've had on our uh, earlier runs, but... Like I said, single, like, fetus in a jar would make this so incredible. Because we already have incredible damage uh, and tons of bombs. Well, I guess we don't need tons of bombs if we get fetus in a jar. Where is my head at right now? That should be our secret room. Alright, enough money to make the shop worthwhile. That's awesome. But we don't even need to use a key to go to the shop. We can just bomb our way in because we have way more of those than we have keys. In here we find Notched Axe, a key, which I will buy, and a tarot card, which I will buy. And that's the Hermit. That's going to save us a key, basically. Uh, by allowing us to go to the shop on the next floor, which we will do next time we get two cents. Because uh, we need to get to 15, of course. Now, do I want to roll with the pony or do I want to roll with the uh, D6? I'm going to take the pony. Reason being, we're headed down to the caves of the catacombs, where there are usually uh, a lot of crevices. And this should allow me, fairly easily, to, um, to uh, pick up like all the bombs and keys that always end up you know, scattered about down there. Not doing very much damage. I really desire a mom's knife brimstone, some kind of deal with the devil item here. So I'm going to try to maybe swing that right now by fighting this boss right away. It's going to be peep. Shouldn't be impossible. And we might actually want to use bombs during our peep fight here. Reason I say that is because we have a lot of them and we are not doing very much damage with our actual shots. Although I worry that our, our bombs are just simply not going to uh, actually home in. In which case, like, what's the point then? Well, that did a pretty substantial amount of damage. As long as I can make sure that it's not gonna, like, just jump away, then it might be uh, worthwhile to use some bombs here. That worked out quite well, actually. And we are just gonna continue to watch out for these eyes. I can hang out in these, like, little spots in the corners where there's uh, rocks to protect me. At least from the shots, although I think the eyes can fly over top of that area. Not good. Oh, come on! We're like two seconds away from the end of the fight and I got hit twice? All because of my supposed great hiding spot. And now Peep, of course, won't stop fucking moving. And the fight has gone on way longer than I expected. Well, we do get a tears and HP up. Oh, wait, I always say that every single time. I get it confused with meat. But anyway, we get the spirit heart, we get the HP upgrade, we get no deal with the devil. The, the latent bonus here, and this might actually be a detriment, but I feel like it's a bonus right now. Because I'm going to frame it that way so I don't end up, you know, getting too negative on this run already. Uh, the bonus is, we haven't gotten any deals with the devil run, or deals with the devil on this run, which means we could potentially, as I use the hermit card here now. Uh, and yeah, definitely we'll pick up the nine volt. Um, we haven't gotten any deals with the devil, which means we could potentially qualify for uh, deals with the angel. Which would be fantastic for me. Take those dudes out the only way I know how, using the pony space bar. And we have other keys and bombs that we could purchase in that shop if I get a little bit more money. But I'm not sure if I have to pay a key to get in now, even though I use like the hermit card to get in. You'd think like if this is a real door, I opened it from the inside, so it should be unlocked now, but I'm not sure if Isaac follows that protocol. Usually when you go to a shop once, you, you don't often go back. But we really need more damage here. I'm hoping we run across, ideally, it's been a while. Uh, secret room fetus in a jar. That's what I'm hoping for. Or epic fetus would be fine too. It's been forever since I've had either of those items, uh, you know, naturally. I, I've kind of falsely created a, a couple runs like that with, um, what should I say? Um, by doing the uh, fetus in a jar challenge. I forget what it's called. Doctor, Doctor Returns? The Doctor's Revenge? Something like that. 
Again, using Guppy's tail to pop open a ton of these golden chests that we get here. Luckily, we have a decent supply of keys, but we can't afford to not get keys from these much longer. So that only took out one double fly. I really expected that we would get something a little bit better than that. And every time I say double fly, I feel like I'm trying to say double fine, but I'm messing it up. No offense, Tim Schafer, Ron Gilbert, if you're, if you're watching this. Um, well, we know nothing there. I'm just scouting out the entire floor now. We need to go to the item room still, which, yes, is indeed right there. Uh, and additionally, I feel like that was a really good bomb. Uh, I feel like it will be smart for me to scout this out and then use my bombs to try to look for the secret room where, who knows, maybe we could find the greatest item of all times sequestered there for our use. Although I'm guessing that will not be the case. So first things first, we'll go to the item room. Item room is Monster Manuel. Monster Manuel is not very good. We got an attack fly for this room. It seems like every time I use Monster Manuel, the first thing I get is um, the attack fly. Which is weird. Well, we got another six cents. So we will save all our money now and then use that at the shop on the next floor. Uh, we could go to our mob trap room here. I really don't want to spend a key even though we could get a key in return, the reason being, of course, that I need a key for the shop and I need a key for the item room on the next floor. But we're still going strong. We really need some extra damage if we are to make this run uh, incredibly successful. So we got Curse of Darkness, but, you know, it's not like I had a compass or anything in the first place. So it's not an enormous problem. Now I'm thinking, like, what is what is the item that I like in conjunction with the pony? You're, you Normally I like, and we're going back like four months for this, uh, normally I like the uh, Ouija board pony combination, however I think Ouija board pony is not as vital anymore. Because normally you get Ouija board from the uh, d d deal with the devil for one heart. Whereas you can oftentimes get Spirit of the Night which covers both items from pony and uh, Ouija board for two hearts. And it's passive. So it seems to me like Ouija board might not be so vital anymore. What I might be looking out for is a spacebar item. Uh, in, in addition to Spirit of the Night or something. I have the help required to justify a mom's knife purchase or something along those lines. Extra key is useful. We will buy the map. Reason being, we can find the secret room more easily without wasting so many bombs. We will open this now. Tarot card is Empress. Could be useful on the boss. We shall see. The key and, well, you know, speak of the devil, why not fight the boss right away while we're here? So this is bad. Um, that was just terrible dodging on my part there. I really dislike fighting Little Chubb, because it's like, it's not an easy fight, it's not one of the easiest fights in the game for sure. Um, and then afterwards, after this somewhat difficult fight, at least for this level of the game, you end up getting an item that is usually not really all that useful. Although we do have no spirit hearts, entirely red hearts now, so it's possible that this will be one of those situations uh, where Little Chad will end up being useful for us here. I probably just said Chubb like 50 times instead of Chad. I apologize, it happens, you know. Names are similar, bosses are similar. Please, no Krampus. Brimstone, Mom's Knife, Spirit of the Night. Okay, well, we will take Spirit of the Night, like I mentioned. Uh, and now we will get rid of the pony at our first opportunity, which will hopefully be the treasure room that we come across. So obviously, yes, now I wish I had kept the D6, but you can't always be 100% guaranteed that you are going to get uh, exactly what you want in the Binding of Isaac, can you? Let's open this up. Uh, Steven, extra damage, that's awesome. I will certainly take that. And we're going to want some more keys soon, otherwise we're going to find ourselves in a pretty difficult situation. Uh, we have no leapers here, but that's not going to stop me from taking damage. And with only three hearts, I am very concerned. We have some upgrades here, but they're redundant. We have like two abilities to fly. So let's get rid of this uh, as soon as we can. Anything really would be better than the pony right now. Unless it has an active effect that's actually worse than the ponies. For example, like Kamikaze I would not like right now. Portable slot machine, additionally, would be terrible. Well, we'll take the D20. That could be actually be uh, awesome for us. Certainly, uh, it's not going to be bad. Now, if we could just find an arcade or something. Because, oh man, we're way slower now with Spirit of the Night only. Hopefully, we'll get some drops on these rooms, use D20, and maybe pick up some good stuff. Really, this should solve our key problem, is what I'm thinking. Because normally, uh, you know, D20, you get a good room going with like a blood bank or something like that, and then you end up... Well, might as well reroll this. Being able to pick up all the bombs and keys you could possibly want, and it's going to replenish fairly quickly because we do have the uh, 9 volt as well. So let's shoot this stuff here. I picked up one bomb out of that D20 conversion right there, but what we're really going to be looking for uh, is the... Really? Really? Finally! Uh, we're we're going to be looking for 
uh, the potentiality of like an arcade with a big blood bank or something that we can actually afford to play a lot. And then we'll D20 the shit out of that and end up, you know, the thing with the D20 is that uh, if you D20 your blood bank, usually it'll turn some of those pennies into actual hearts that you can use anyway. So it's not an enormous problem. Wow, that is awesome actually. Uh, we will definitely want to go to the shop. Unfortunately, we have no keys. So hopefully we come across some of those soon. If nothing else, though, tons of money. I could have d 20 the shit out of that room once I got it charged, but, um, we'll just pick up the money instead. Who knows, I might want to buy two more items, although I'm assuming soon we will come into greed. Come into greed. Not the way I intended that sentence to come out. In any case, uh, people have mentioned, I mentioned in an earlier video, one or two videos ago, that wouldn't it be awesome if greed actually functioned, like the more money you had, the more likely it was that greed would show up? Well, someone has clued me in, that actually is how it works, so I'm starting to think maybe my quote-unquote greed sense that I've been so needlessly proud of uh, is actually just my brain recognizing, hey, greed's more likely to show up later in the game when you have more money. Oh, that was terrible. So, we get a spirit heart here. We still have zero keys, that's going to be a serious problem for us. It does, however, mean we are pretty much free to just fight this boss right away. So ideally what I like to do with the D20, it always it takes a little bit of time to get back in the D20 swing of things because uh, it does require a different play style than you, oh my god. Seriously, I'm like, this is like 2011 era leaping here for me. Or leaper idiocy for me. Gish, that's awesome actually because I could use not only the extra shots but the extra slow as well. So let's drop some bombs here to, to deal with Gish. Not as much damage as I would have liked to be honest with you. Gish is an easy fight. But it might be a long fight, considering how little damage we're doing. And this is my least favorite kind of Isaac run, but honestly, we're kind of due for a damage-deficient Isaac run, considering how many, like, incredible Isaac runs I've had lately. So as you can see, Gish is going to take 100 years here. Uh, again, pretty confused by the fact that my homing bombs don't seem to home. I always thought Homer's going to home, but I guess not. We'll just throw in some more bombs here. I might want to use one more bomb against Gish. I want to make sure he's not going to jump anytime soon, though. Oh, come on! you tell me that bomb wouldn't have hit him in the air? So if there's like an explosion at a gas factory nearby or something, all I have to do is jump right as the explosion comes? Come on, Edmund McMillan. Be reasonable. So we are going to continue just very, very slowly taking out Gish. We get back to full health. Deal with the devil? Nope. Uh, as expected. D20 is now recharged. And we're going to look for a room that could potentially make this D20 work for us. We need keys. Desperately. That is an item room. Not necessarily the most useful thing for us right now. I do love uh, Spirit of the Night, how it allows you to just hang out on top of these rocks. I was going to say and not take damage, but apparently these nubs can still hit me. Drop a key, please. No such luck, huh? The one thing that would make D20 even better is if you could like pick up items that you didn't need. Like, let's say there was a key drop... Uh, that you didn't want, uh, then you could like carry that and carry all like the hearts that you don't need and stuff like that and just dump them all in one room and then re-roll re it. Maybe in the remake we can get that to happen. So these leapers are just leaping constantly, which in hindsight is probably one of the most obvious statements that I've ever said. Key, key, key no, hearts. Could D20 that, but I don't want to necessarily yet, just in case we come across a room that has more D20 targets, if you understand what I am getting at there. So we got lots of flies here. A room that would be great for a D20 if we don't come across a, a blood bank or an arcade or something like that would be uh, a room with a ton of champions. Wow, we actually do not want to reroll these hearts. We need these hearts because I am getting shit on, basically. Thanks for the golden chests. Those are certainly going to come in handy. Thanks a lot, Guppy's Tail. Those could have been regular chests giving me, like, keys and money for D6 or D20 targets. Oh, well. I have a feeling this run is probably going to be over basically before it begins. Partly because of my own fault, I think my brain is cooking here in this surprising mid-September heat. Um, and partly because we haven't really gotten the kind of items necessary to capitalize on the advantages that we should have uh, from the items that we've gotten, if that makes any sense at all. And it might indeed not. What I mean is, like, we've gotten uh, decent bombs, but for some reason our bombs don't seem to work all that well. We've gotten uh, Guppy's Tail, but we don't get any keys, so these are serious problems for us moving forward. We do have Judgment here. He could potentially give us keys. He could potentially give us lots of stuff that we need, actually. Two of clubs is fine. Yeah, double our bombs. See if I care. In addition, a half heart that I need. And we'll just continue until he pays out with what's probably going to be a health upgrade. 
Well, steam sail, that's cool too. Unfortunately, we won't really get to make good use of that. Um, let's come to the right here now. Again, still, okay, this might be a better room to d20 just because there's two cents. It's not a lot, but we might get a drop as we finish as well. And really all we want is like one or two keys here. Okay, so we have three drops. Let's reroll them all. We get one key. We get a bloody penny, which is actually a good trinket. And then we have another penny here that we can potentially save for another reroll. Ah, you know what we could do is also play the slot machine a few times. And potentially get some good stuff there. Maybe this is a bombs our key pill, and that would hook us up. Bom oh, wow! Kind of didn't expect that. Uh, and what's this pill? Hopefully not the same. Full health! Wow! Okay, we're lucky. And extra bombs, and we'll play one more time. Alright, well that actually ended up turning out for the best, kind of surprisingly to me anyway. We can pick up the scent now. And now that we have six keys, let's start popping some of the shit open and getting what I assume... We're not going to get any more D6 targets, sadly, because we're not going to have enough to charge up. But let's, let's start blowing keys like crazy, hopefully picking up more keys in the process. And more hearts, as well. Um, again, really hoping to get, yes, keys out of most of these. And we'll, we'll fight a boss that I hope is not greed. It's greed. So we went through all that just to, uh, you know, got the steam sale, got tons of money, and then ended up fighting greed in the shop anyway. Oh well. On the next room, on the next floor, I should say, we shouldn't fight greed. If there is any semblance of fairness in the universe. Thank you for the extra money. And again, Bloody Penny is actually going to go a long way towards helping us out here. Both with the D20, as you can probably imagine, and with our actual health problems that have been concerning us so far. So we are going to go down to the uh, item room here. Let's pop open some more golden chests while we're here. More keys, more money, tons of red hearts. Uh, and I might want to save some keys now. We'll save two keys when we leave this floor. Kamikaze, really? That's super shitty, actually. Well, that was basically a waste of two keys on the item room and the shop. You know what? I feel bad about that. Let's pop open this golden chest. We get two keys out of that. Again, tons more money. Probably gonna run into Super Greed on the next floor. But that's okay. When Super Greed dies, he will drop, like, 50 hearts, basically, functionally, because he's gonna drop a lot of money or an item. Uh, and then we will reroll all of those hearts that we get from Bloody Penny from that money that we got. We got the Ankh, could potentially be useful. If only getting the Ankh in The Binding of Isaac was as easy as it was in getting it in Spelunky, you know? So we traded a key for a spirit heart, not a trade I'm particularly fond of right now. And of course we're on Necropolis, I should stop wasting keys because we are actually going to have to use two... Ooh, that was close. We're gonna have to use two uh, keys to access both of the item rooms here. These guys are a total pain in the dick, how did I not dodge that? Please drop something. Like, drop two cents that I can use to replenish my health. That's what I'm hoping for. I already lost the spirit heart I traded a key for on the last room. Well, one cent does not give us a heart, sadly. We can always go to these fortune tellers, but I don't really want to. And we do have to fight two bosses. So we might want to wait on that until we've gone to the item rooms and figured out, you know, are we able to survive? You know, if we go to the item rooms and we pick up fetus in a jar or something, all is well. But you were, things are becoming increasingly dire as I take more and more stupid damage. But again, stupid damage that I take is not proportional to my own intelligence most of the time. Some of the time it is, but most of the time it's not. It's proportional to the amount of damage that I dish out. The more damage I dish out, the less likely I am uh, to get stupid damage. There we go, we're back to full health. Uh, because I take out enemies in the room much, much faster. Overall though, this has not been a super incredible run. Which is probably, you know, we're due for that, considering the amazing runs that we've had lately. Okay, so we do have some potentially awesome stuff going on in this blood bank with D20 and blood, Bloody Penny. Um, oh, that was terrible. Hopefully this guy drops some money. Reason being, he drops money, uh, and then I get hearts from it as well as money. Well, he dropped a key. That's actually probably even better. I'm still going to stop overthinking things. I really don't want that either, sadly. That's like the my best friend item. So what we want to do here is like play this, get money, get health, play this, get the blood bank. That's actually possibly even better. Oh, we might as well play this dude one time while we're here. Now we could potentially like pull some bullshit with this D20, but I don't really want to. Uh, because that relies on playing the slot machine and the like three-headed dude in the middle But why would we want like the three-headed dude already pays out only bombs and keys? We don't want to reroll those. Well, he, he pays out with half hearts as well, but 
Uh, we don't necessarily want to reroll all of that. Those are pretty useful items for me. Well, I'm taking a shit ton of damage already. There's one heart down. That's actually not a shit ton. That is maybe, at most, a, a, a crap ton. Let's not go crazy here. Okay, so we have another half heart that I... Oh, can get to because I have Spear of the Night, of course. You dummy. Hopefully we'll have a chance to reroll something in the near future. Otherwise, this D20 is turning out to be more of a bust than the pony was. But I really, like, what I need to have happen is, like, a second secret room with a ton of health on it or something. Uh, that I don't need, which I can then reroll. You know, sometimes you'll get that second secret room and it has, like, 50 hearts just sitting there. That's what I want right now. And then just reroll that to a beautiful setup uh, that will carry me through as we move onwards. I don't like this room. I'm not gonna make any bones about that. It's a pain in the ass. I hate the zombies. I hate the fact that the only way to shoot the hearts is to get in range of... Uh, their attacks, moat for the most part anyway. So, red heart. Well, two bombs, you know what? We'll take them. Not, no need to reroll that. Should have... Where is our second item room? Is this the depths part two? This might be the depths part two. Maybe I'm just crazy. Well, we will take mom's purse, actually. That is really useful. And we'll definitely buy all this shit, too. Reason mom's purse is important, of course, is because now we can take the Polaroid as well as a second trinket. Seven deadly sins. Pop that open. What do we got here? Single bomb. You know what? Let's reroll it. Single penny. Awesome. Well, we're back to full health. That might have actually been for the best. And now it is time to just fight Mom. I, I thought we were, we've were we only done like one floor of the Necropolis. Or one floor of the Depths, but... I, I actually, I'm trying to say, I'm serious, like it's really hot here. Um, so excuse me for my brain cooking. Also, they gave the suns directly on me, you know, it cooks my bald head. It acts like, a, like an aluminum foil cooker for hot dogs that you might have made in like fifth grade. So I'm pretty much dying of heat stroke as I make this video, uh, despite living in Canada in mid-September. Um, maybe it's time to shave my back. <laughs> um, what the heck was I going to say? Um, yeah, I don't know. We must have fought Little Chub like on the last floor, and that was the depths. And little Chad. I, just, I apologize for my nonsensicalness at this point. So we're going to take out Mom. It shouldn't be super difficult. Although it might be a little bit tricky because we don't really have much in the way of crowd control. I mean, we haven't gotten great offensive items by any stretch of the imagination here. What we do have is a uh, decent defense by way of Spirit of the Night. Uh, but everything else is just kind of like doing what we can, basically. It's a bomb. Really hoping that bomb was going to work. It was like a second too early to hit that uh, bodily structure there. Alright, that did a decent amount of, Actually, it did not really do that much damage. The bombs are not working as well as I need them to. We're gonna survive here, but it's gonna be close, I think. We might actually not survive here. Losing the mom would be a huge disappointment after the runs that we've had recently. So we're just gonna hang out kind of like in the corner here. Should allow me to do solid... Ah, oh, I didn't want that. Okay, we only have one health left. I think we're gonna die against mom here. That's pretty remarkable. We just don't have enough damage to really do this. Or I don't have enough patience to really do this, I guess, maybe is the alternative. Oh, not good. And the bombs are just not working. I mean, it's already hard enough to hit Mom uh, with bombs. We're going to respawn as Blue Baby. I totally forgot about that, by the way. Which is probably just going to mean more frustration here, because I'm not going to have any bombs. Ah, there we go. Alright, time to tackle this again as Blue Baby. So we gotta do this, I mean, you can tell definitely where I put my bombs on the last run. It's gonna be a long fight, I think. Is it just me or does this seem to be going faster now? On the bright side, I mean, being Blue Baby might actually mean a greater chance of success. Uh, because we're gonna have the Polaroid giving us, like, permanent invincibility. But I still don't see this run lasting too long. We don't even have, like, we have no compass, we have a map, but... The compass is usually more valuable to tell you what direction to go in. But we're doing better than we did last time, I think. Seems like Mom is spawning less dickish enemies. So I'm being a little bit better defensively. Oh, maybe not, as I just walk into random enemies there. Uh, so far, so good. Again, we just gotta survive till we get the Polaroid. Well, now the Bloody Penny is, is worthless. Actually, we might die again here. That is an incredibly disappointing finish. Just focus a little bit. I'm gonna shut off for a second so I can actually, you know... 
realize what I'm doing here in the game. I don't see any shadows, but it's difficult to tell. Because there's so many, like, bombs that have been dropped in here. That it, it can be difficult to see if the shadows, like, are coming down. Because it's already, like, low there, if that makes any sense. Oh, man. Okay, just a little bit more. Don't kill me in the explosion, Mom. There we go. We survived. We didn't get any extra health, but we did get the Polaroid. So one hit on the womb or utero will kill us instantly. Here we go. Gotta get some spirit hearts. Probably unlikely. What's in our secret room? Let me guess. Greed. Nope. Extra money. Awesome red hearts that I can never use. Uh, D20 could make an appearance, but we're probably gonna get hit. If not on this room. Ooh, if not on this room. Uh, this room is actually fairly easy. I'm hoping. Yes, so we should survive here. But you never know what's gonna happen in the future. So that's one room done. Spirit art drop? No. Lots of money. Again, this is becoming a, a prime D20 target. Uh, this room could potentially do me in. Can these guys jump? They can't jump on the rocks. Oh, yes they can. Okay, that's it. Uh, that was a terrible run. I apologize, but you know, I did what I could. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go drink about two liters of water, and as always, I will see you next time.